Kibera is one of the largest clubs we have in Africa. It is located in Nairobi, Kenya. There is a river that runs through the, the slum and every year it floods, causing homelessness and a lot of deaths to many Kenyans. The reason why it floods is because there is a lot of unattended garbage and this is caused by the fact that the residents are unable to pay for garbage collection fee leading to the illegal dumping sites in the area. But even more frustrating is that the government that is supposed to take care of this garbage does not even know the exact location of where the garbage is. Uh, Meet Report Tucker, a, a platform that allows citizens to report unattended garbage whenever they find it. Uh, we use Twitter mostly because it has a large user base in Kenya, about 1.7 million users, and we have used it before to lobby the government to act on pertinent issues such as corruption. Report Tucker works in very simple steps. You create a tweet, you take a photo of the garbage, create a tweet, um, tag Report Tucker, and also tag the location of where the garbage is, then send out the tweet. We are able to get this data from our backend system and analyze the data in real time, which forms our monetization plan, where we want to, to get this data to policy makers and government institutions, which can better inform the decision-making process as regards to waste management in Kenya. We are already in talks with two companies, some of the biggest waste management companies in Nairobi, on ways we can collaborate and ensure this becomes a reality. This is just the beginning for Report Tucker. It can be used in so many other ways, not just garbage uh, reporting. It can also be used in so many other countries, not just in Kenya. We would also want to create a SMS platform so that people who do not have access to internet are actually able to, re to make reports via our platform. We have a very good team behind Report Tucker with expertise in IT and business, having worked in companies such as Oracle, IBM, and iLab Africa. Um, we are looking to raise 150,000 to help us expand the, the infrastructure and also get mentorship from the people with relevant expertise. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Fiber Startups. We're doing a key summit plane to Africa next year, so we're very excited to you know, continue to invest in the region. I'm curious to better understand uh, how you're thinking about the next steps after garbage collection, and I know you kind of spoke with them, but would love to kind of have you dive in and, and tell us a little more about what else do you this uh, help you think? Uh, the way we created the platform, it's very flexible in such a way that any report can be made to via the platform. So we we figure out that there is a gap, especially in Kenya, in Africa mostly, there is a gap between citizens' problem and the way they are leveraged to the government. So it can be used as a tool to report not only garbage, but also crime areas, maybe a broken street light or a broken road, potholes on the road. So there are so many use cases that report Shaka can be used, or rather the platform created can be used as a bridge between citizens and the government, or even employees and their employers. Can you talk a little bit about the usage that you're seeing already and just what kind of traction you have? Okay, we just released our beta version about four to six weeks ago with zero marketing and no effort in letting people use the platform. We've been able to get 256 tweets mentioned in Report Tracker, out of which about 11 are actual garbage reports being reported by people. 